Well, you know, every January, all the producers get together and we have the producer picks. We go back and look at the segments from 2018 or from the previous year, and we made some great picks this year, and that's what you're going to see on today's show as well as next week. We're actually two weeks worth of some of the best of the best that was on the show, like here at Eddie George's Grill 27. Renee? Well, thanks, Mike. This is definitely a best of show. We found a new place where you can find authentic Mexican frozen ice cream treats. And we've got so much more coming up in today's show. I'm Renee Warner, and along with Mike Kilburn, we are Out and About Columbus. Wimbassy Suites Dublin has just completed about seven months of renovation from this urban craft restaurant behind me to some great amenities and meeting space. We had an opportunity to talk to Rachel Stewart, and she told us all you're going to find here at Embassy Suites Dublin. Well, Rachel, good to have you in Embassy Suites Dublin on the show. Thank you so much. You guys have just went through a major renovation here and a lot of good things afoot here, I guess. So let's start off talking about the restaurant, Urban Craft. Tell us what people are going to find. Yeah, so Urban Craft is our new restaurant. It's located in our atrium. So you'll find local craft beers, um, American burgers, kind of American flair. Uh, Chef Jose and his team have created a very cool custom menu. Um, small plates, small bites, and just kind of shareable and enjoyable. It looks very comfortable to come in and just... Uh, kind of sit and enjoy the, the surroundings and uh, talk to friends and visit. It does, and that's what we want. You know, the atrium is kind of the staple for our hotel. So guests love to congregate here, bring their families here. So we wanted to bring that food and beverage kind of out so they could enjoy that in the atrium. Well, Rachel, tell us a little bit about your meeting and event space here. Yeah, so we've got 13,000 square feet of space, including our atrium, Grand Ballroom, which is 6,100 square feet of space. So it's great for corporate events, large association groups. We do a lot of weddings here. Uh, we do have boardrooms that are located on our second floor. So just a lot of versatile space for groups of all different sizes. Who is your customer? Who comes to Embassy Suites? You know, everyone is our customer. We're kind of a, a corporate um, group uh, house during the week. Um, and then on the weekends, we enjoy families um, and just visitors kind of coming through the Columbus area. Rachel, tell us a little bit about the amenities people are going to find. Yeah, so we've got some great amenities. We have cook-to-order breakfast in the morning, so that does come with cook-to-order omelets, uh, which are handmade right in front of you, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have our complimentary evening reception at night, so that's complimentary beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and snacks from 5.30 to 7.30, and that is included in your stay, which is pretty cool for parents um, who can uh, put the kids off to the pool area and enjoy a drink in the atrium. Exactly. So, so it's kind of that home away from home, right? It is. It is. Yes. I know you guys do a quality job here. Give us some contact information where people can book and uh, make reservations. Come in and enjoy this. Yeah, absolutely. So you can find us um, at, on the website at columbusdublin.embassysuites.com or calling us direct at 614-790-9000. Fantastic. Rachel, great place. Thanks so much for having us out. Well, I know it's in the middle of January, but we still love delicious frozen treats. And we found a great place called Dulce Vida here on West Broad Street. You've got to come check it out. We spoke with Vince, who told us more about this authentic Mexican ice cream shop. Well, Vince, it's great to see you again, and thank you for having us out to Dulce Vida. You know, I'm looking around at all of these interesting items on the menu, and it's very different, but looks delicious. Tell us about the concept of Dulce Vida. Sure, Renee. So we opened in 2016 here in Columbus. The concept is authentic Mexican homemade style ice cream. Um, so the concept is very famous in Mexico. You travel all over the country, you'll find this type of setup in street markets, permanent markets, a lot of road roadside uh, setup stands and then if you walk through crowded areas in the city you'll find the same concept with people pushing little carts selling the same product. Well, tell us about some of these menu items because they really look delicious. Thanks. So all of the ice cream is made in-house. Um, uh, a little bit of different flavors than maybe what you might find 
uh, typically here in the States. A lot of fruit flavored ice creams. Um, also, they make their own sort of fudge sickles. Uh, they're not made out of fudge, though. It's more of a cream based uh, with fresh fruit. Um, you can find fresh flavored waters. So they'll take fruits, uh, liquefy them, add a little bit of sugar if it needs it water and then we have uh, walking street tacos which is dorito cut open fresh corn very very mexican very oh, authentic I, I know it's it's so different but it looks so good what are the future plans for expansion here so currently have two locations uh, this year we're planning a third location if not a fourth location and then we're also in process of um, putting together the actual typical street carts. So look for us at area festivals uh, with our product. Well, we're here on West Broad Street. Tell us th about this location and how we can find out more and come try this out. Sure, so this is 4201 West Broad Street, almost at the corner of Georgesville and West Broad. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Dulce Vida Ice Cream Factory. You can also find us uh, on Cleveland Avenue, actually it's 2400 Homemaker Drive near Cleveland and 270. And you can also find us on the web at dulcevitacolumbus.com. Fantastic events. Thanks again for having us out. I mean, this is phenomenal. I can't believe how big it is. Yeah, thank you for having <laughs> us. Even though it's cold out, we're open all year round. So wait, wait to see everyone here at Dulce Vida Columbus. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, Fort Ironworks has best been known for this for the last 72 years, but what you didn't know is that they have a vintage market here, and they also do some fantastic fabrication work as well as laser cutting. If it involves metal, believe me, Fortin can do it. We talk to Bob Fortin and learn more. Well, Bob, good to have you in Fort Norton Works back on the show. Glad to be here. Thanks. You know, one of the things that was cool, we came in and looked at the market here the last time we were here and saw some amazing things. But you know what I realized is that's just part of the story. You really do a lot more than that, especially in the fabrication area. So what are some of the requests that you get and what's most requested? All right. We are a very, very diversified company. Uh, we do everything from old world blacksmithing all the way up to modern day laser cutting and everything in between. Uh, we deal both with residential customers and commercial customers. What are some of the requests that you get? I mean, I, I see like the laser signs behind us. You actually have people that job things out to you guys, right? We do. We do. We do individualized signs on request, and we also have jobs um, that customers ask of us so that they in turn can maybe mass market on the internet or to their customers. Is this open to the public? Can the public come in and request? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, we highly recommend that. We are open six days a week. We do take Sundays off, but um, we're here every day but Sunday. Well, you know, one of the things that fascinated me was these signs and the laser cut. Mm -hmm. it, that'll do some pretty incredible things. Talk a little bit about your laser process. Yeah, the laser that we now have in use, it will do anything from cut cleanly through one inch thick steel plate all the way down to just engraving onto a thin steel plate without even punching through. And it does it with precision. So again, so if I want to come in here as an individual and get something, what, what's kind of the process you go through here? We have staff designers and estimators that are always here to assist the customers. Uh, we will work anywhere from somebody's napkin type drawing to a professional blueprint and everything in between as well. We've been here 72 years and we've done it all and seen it all and, and we know the process. Well, give us some contact information, Bob, where people can find you and actually enjoy this place because it's amazing just to come in here and look around. Best thing to do is go to our website. It's 410ironworks.com. Fantastic. Bob, good seeing you again. Thanks so much for being on the show. Look forward to seeing you again. It's bridal season, and Valentine's Day is just around the corner. If you're looking for that perfect jewelry gift, Dublin Village Jewelers has something for you. We spoke with Alex and Annie, who told us more about some of the ideas they have for that perfect gift. Well, Annie and Alex, thank you so much for having us back to Dublin Village Jewelers. And Alex, let me start with you. What makes Dublin Village Jewelers the premier place to come buy fine jewelry? Well, Dublin Villas Jewelers is all about the experience. Of course, we're family owned and operated. So when you come in, you deal with myself, my mother, my father, my grandmother. So when you come in, we like to get to know you and really make it so this is a fun shopping experience without pressure. So you can always stop in and say hi and know who you're working with. Well, it's bridal season. A lot of people are getting engaged or have gotten engaged. And if you're looking for bridal jewelry, 
Why come here? Like I was saying, this is the most personal customer service experience you'll get. And bridal is such a fun and exciting and personal time in your life. So we really handpick the diamonds for our customers. We do all of our custom work in-house uh, right, right at the bench here. So we like to get to know you, get to know your potential uh, fiance, and really make that ring perfect for her. Well, Annie, I'm going to turn to you. It's almost Valentine's Day, and so many women love jewelry. Tell us some ideas that we can we can get here. Okay. Well, we have so many um, items that would be make a perfect gift for Valentine's Day, from diamond stud earrings to a, a little diamond pendant, or a pop of color from our um, Belle Etoile line, which is a enamel jewelry. Um, any of these would make a perfect gift. And I understand you have something special just for Valentine's Day. Absolutely. We're very excited to um, pair our Valentine's gifts with a gift certificate from the Refectory, which is one of Columbus's best restaurants with a minimum purchase. So we're very excited for our customers to come in to receive that special gift. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, tell us how we can find out more about Dublin Village Jewelers. You can always stop in and visit us. We're at 251 West Bridge Street in Dublin, or visit us on our website at DublinVillageJewelers.com, or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so much for coming on again. Love being here. The store looks beautiful. Like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news about upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's Facebook.com slash Out and About Columbus. Well, there's many reasons that Boulders at the Manicor was our producer's pick for the best of 2018. There is a guy here that actually has a passion for cooking that's just unbelievable, and we actually had a little opportunity to spend some time with Boulder in the kitchen. Well, Walter, good to have you back on the show. Welcome in my kitchen. Thank you. You know, it, what's interesting about this is you were the producer's pick for two thousand best of 2018. Awesome. And, and I think one of the reasons that we selected you was because I said, if there's a guy that's got passion for cooking, it is absolutely Walter at the Manicor. You know, I dream about the cooking show. I never been on a cooking show, but I thought to start my own. So this is it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we're back here because that passion for cooking. We want to see some of that today, cool. as uh, as you put that together. You're coming up, as I understand it, on three years, right? Three years. Very doing nice. some celebration. Very nice. Uh, this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, I know you recently had a write up in the dispatch, and they're talking about what what is old is new again. And one of the things that you're going to is some steaks here, right? So talk a little bit about that, and let's talk. Let's let's see you cook some of the steak up. That's right, Mike. So um, we've been missing on a, on those classic dishes. Um, it, you go to the restaurant; it's hard to find a good porterhouse. You know, another one is it's hard to find a real good corned beef. That looks delicious. This is my Ruben. It, it's hard to find those dishes. Uh, some of them are going away. Uh, because of the cost-effective right. uh, prime rib. Made a cut here. I'm going to make another one. Mm. Look at the juice in there, man. That's Look at the amazing. juice of that. That's um, amazing. That's their passion. That's their passion for cooking. We are um, uh, heavily so uh, focusing on, uh, on a classic dishes. My moneymaker. You can look at here. This is the best investment that uh, we ever done. So it's a very nice beef, very lean, and this is your dish. Wow. You know, I gotta tell you, it just smells great. Watching you, watching you, you're, 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 you're like a maestro, as you said, and you cook and you do all this. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, man. It's been good. You're never gonna have a bad meal at Boulder's at the Manicor. Boulder, give us some contact information where people can find you. So uh, we are on 976 South High Street, and thank you for the uh, wonderful, wonderful business. Thanks for being our best pick. Thank Thanks you, so much, Boulder. Well, the producer's pick for 2018 at Best Sports Bar was Eddie George's Grill 27. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of reasons for why. And they've even updated their lunch menu. And think about the Super Bowl coming up. It's someplace you may want to visit. We talked to Tom to learn more. Well, Tom, good to have you and Eddie George's Girl 27 back on the show. Yeah, thanks for having us again. Well, you know, you were our producer's pick for Best Sports Bar to come and enjoy uh, a sporting event and great food. So let's talk a little bit about why you think this place really makes a great place to come and watch a game. I think it's pretty simple, honestly. Uh, you know, we have 28 great beers on draft, um, you know, really good food, great wings, great burgers. 
Um, you know, we have 45 TVs, a projector, good sound system. You know, I think we got all the bases covered. So. Yeah. Well, there's no doubt in our mind, like I said, when, when we reviewed a lot of the uh, segments from this last year, 2018, we really uh, were impressed with this place and, and what you guys do. I understand you got some new lunch items uh, or lunch menu items, and uh, so let's talk a little bit about them. Yeah, um, you know, our biggest thing, a lot of people around here is coming from the offices, so uh, our biggest focus is trying to make them quick and easy for them. Um, so two of these items are, um, this is our kale um, Power Bowl. Um, it's kale, shaved Brussels sprouts, goat cheese, uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Uh, it's delicious, I think. Um, it you know, smells good, I can tell you that. <laughs> good. Um, then when, this is another one, is a Cuban sandwich. Um, a little bit different for us, um, but you know, a quick little lunch item for them. So, Well, given all the great food that you have here, what about Super Bowl specials? I know this is going to be a great place to enjoy the Super Bowl. Yeah, um, and we're going to do $3 Bud Light drafts. Um, we're going to do 50 cent wings. Um, we're going to do this is our uh, Eddie's Burger. Um, do a $5 Eddie's Burgers as well. Um, just a couple options to get people to come out here and uh, enjoy the game with us. Now, I heard you say you got 27 different craft beers on tap? 28. And is it any of the local craft beer that we see? Yeah, we try to support a lot of our local breweries, um, you know, not at all times, but for the most time, we usually have at least one beer from the majority of all the uh, local craft breweries. And give us some contact information, Tom. Yeah, um, you know, our phone number is uh, 614-421-2727. Uh, we can also be found online at eddiegeorgesgrill27.com. Um, we also have our uh, Facebook and Instagram pages as well. So. Fantastic, man. Thanks again for being on the show. Well, Starliner Diner was our producer's pick of 2018 for Best Diner. And we're just one of the several awards that this place has won. This funky vibe that they have here and excellent food will make you come back again and again. We talked to Ronnie Phillips about why they've been so successful. Well, Ronnie, good to have you at Starliner Diner back on the show. Thanks for having us, man. You know, the reason we're here today is because we get together once uh, once a year and we pick what was the best from all the producers, that we, the segments that we produced. And so your best of 2018 diner. But, you know, that's uh, and, and one of the many awards that you have won. It, what do you attribute to all, all that success? I mean, we've been really fortunate. We have a great atmosphere. We have a lot of great people who love to be here. And everybody just really knocks it out of the park all the time. Well, you got some great dinner specials now so let's talk a little bit about those sure we've got some awesome dinner specials we do a ropa vieja it's the national dish of cuba it's it's warm it's flavorful it's bright it's awesome for when it's cold and gross outside it really it really brings the summer back for a minute what do we got in front of us today Sure, I've got the Ropa Vieja right here. So we've got beef brisket, onions, peppers, corn, tomatoes, smoked chili sauce, all tossed together um, with beans, rice, and of course plantains. It's served with a big chunk of our homemade Cuban bread. I've got sweet fried plantains, and they're served with a creamy salsa dressing. So you get a little sweet, get a little spicy, rounds itself out real nice. We have the chili. We have a kind of a spicy chili. It's full of meat, no beans. It's just big chunks of meat. And then it has jalapeno cornbread and melted cheddar cheese on top. And then I have a pizza cubana. So the sauce for this is a smoked chili sauce. And then it's got mozzarella provolone, caramelized onions, chicken, and black beans. Wow, it's amazing. You know, Ryan, one of the things we never talk about much is your bar here. So let's talk a little bit about that. Dude, we've got a great bar. We do jalapeno-infused margaritas. We have a, a lot of really cool bourbons that are hard to find. Craft beers, local, near and far. We've just got a lot of really cool stuff we do at the bar. It's a lot of fun. Well, let's get some folks out here to try the Starliner Diner, because if they haven't, you're going to want to try it, and you'll be back again and again. So where do we find you? 4121 Main Street in Hilliard. We can be reached at starlinerdiner.com and 614-529-1198. Fantastic. Again, Ronnie, thanks so much for being our producer's pick of 2018. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. onacolumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Well, the white stuff is definitely on the ground. And boy, if you need those driveways cleared, those walks taken care of, there's only one place. That's year-round landscaping. Plus, he was our producer's pick of the best of 2018. And we're talking about Ty Wood and year-round landscaping. Well, Ty, good to have you in year-round landscaping back on the show. It is always a pleasure, Mike. You know, we've got a, a surprise for you in store. Uh, you were the producer's pick 
best landscape for 2018. And let's talk a little bit about some of those services and things that you do, because we're actually at one of your clients' house. We've got the snow on the ground that we've been talking about coming, and it's definitely here. This is one of those services you perform. Yes, that's for sure. Well, the snow isn't here because, of course, we took care of that already uh, because year-round landscaping isn't just a name. It's actually what we do for a wide variety of people throughout central Ohio. A couple weeks, it'll be grass, fertilization, cleanups, anything. We got the maintenance for you, and then we can still do the install and design projects that you might have an interest in. I, are you surprised at how fast the snow's come along? And, and I bet I bet your phone's ringing off the hook now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's a, a, a quite surprised because it didn't look like we was going to get any snow for a minute there. And now we're getting them back to back. What will people be looking for? What will they need to do with the grass from this winter? Well, what you need to do is start planning right now. And I got the perfect solution. It's called landscaping autopilot to where these recurring maintenance items, we can just set that up for you on an ongoing basis and take care of it for here until forever. Uh, You won't ever have to worry about that again. Give us uh, some contact information, Ty, so when that uh, snow flies or when spring comes along, they can give you a call. You can call me at 614-260-8774, or you can go to our website and get more information, www.landscaping365.com. Fantastic, man. We'll see you next month. Appreciate it, Mike. Wogland Nurseries was selected as our producer's pick for Best of 2018 because it is so diverse when you come here. There's so many things to do. It's not just a garden center. It's not just a home decor store, but it's several things. We had an opportunity to talk to April Warner and learn more about what makes Oakland Nurseries so great. Well, April, good to have you in Oakland Nurseries back on the show. Thank you so much. Happy Happy New Year. And you know, what we wanted to tell you guys is that we go through a... um, looking at several of the companies that we worked with in 2018 and you guys were our producers pick for the best of 2018 because Oakland just is so diversified and I don't think there's a nursery that comes close to what you guys do here so we want you to tell our viewers a little bit about how diversified you guys are and what you do. Awesome well thanks so one of the things I think that makes us so unique is that we are a local company so decisions that are made are made in the same building that our customers walk into so I think that's something that makes us very special. Um, We have a garden center Um, And we also have our nursery and we also have a gift section and home store. So people are able to come in for both their outdoor and their indoor needs. Well, that's the one thing we looked at. We thought, you know, the home center is such an adventure there. Mm -hmm. And how how did this all come together? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Um, well, I think a lot of it has to do with our, our it's, fam- it's actually a family run um, company. And with that, they give our managers a lot of freedom and um, a lot of ways. They, they are totally open to us creating a very um, a, a great experience for families. We want people to come here and um, absorb that atmosphere and just have a complete wonderland of stuff to look at. Well, you know, one of the things that, that, that we thought also was kind of neat about you guys is events. Mm -hmm. You guys are huge on events from the pumpkin way in Mm -hmm. to, you know, all the things that you do. And and I know around the holidays, you had an amazing amount of events going on here. So where does that come from? Um, Honestly, I'm going to give a shout out to Sandy Warner. She's the one that does it. She's pretty much our, she's our event queen. Um, But that's just coming from, we just know that in order to um, get our customers on board and give them new fresh things it's we just want to make them happy and make them have a fun time we want to make sure that things are um, family and pet friendly so that people when people come in they know that they're coming into a fun exciting event so april with all these events coming up where can people learn about all the things that are happening here at oakland nurseries um, website is www.oaklandnursery.com fantastic here's to another great year thank april thanks so much for being on the show and congratulations thank you mike Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, you know, this room is uh, really special to me. This is where I started uh, doing stuff with Utsi's Farm Market. And, of course, we have seen a tremendous expansion here. And that's why they were producers pick best of 2018. We talked to Greg Utsi to learn about how much this place has expanded and where it's going. Well, Greg, good to have you in UC's Market back on the show. Hi, Mike. You know, uh, one of the things that we wanted to talk to you about was to tell you that you were the producer's pick for 2018 for Best Farm Market. And we think about, hey, your expansion, but but the quality of things that you do. So let's talk a little bit about your quality and, and the things that you do for, for this farm market. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Mike. 
Um, you know, the biggest thing we, as a family, we've always decided that we want to have customer service first, but then that quality comes from other businesses that we deal with uh, that are like ours. We care about what we're producing. We really care about what goes into our products. And then we care about our customer when the end user that they're getting a great product they can take home to them at a great price. Well, you know, in, in our years of our relationship, I've seen this place grow. I mean, I remember pulling on a gravel lot in one building and talk a little bit about that expansion. Right, we started uh, originally over at the farm with mom and dad. That's been over 35 years ago. Uh, of course, Corn Crib last year, that was a huge expansion. Uh, blacktop, probably the best thing I've ever done for this farm market. Pave that front lot. You know, we have these sloppy days like we've got now. And of course, the hydroponics edition that we're in right now. Yeah, hard to believe. Here we're almost down to January. It's just nasty outside. Uh, we're able to grow stuff year round now. Uh, just getting ready to harvest lettuce. Um, great product. People just love seeing this fresh stuff in the middle of winter. Well, give us some contact information for people that want to come out. And if they haven't experienced the UCG Farm Market, they need to come out. Hey, check us out on uh, Facebook. Uh, you can sign up for our weekly specials there. We have a great website going. We're open 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. Well, congratulations for being a producer's pick, Greg. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Mountain Builders Country Club in Newark is amazing. You know, this golf course is built around Indian mounds, and they have a beautiful clubhouse here as well as a great course. We had an opportunity to talk to Randy and David and learn more. Well, Randy, David, good to be back at Mountain Builders Country Club. Good to have you here. Well, this is a beautiful course. You know, you guys take exceptional care of this. Yes, we T do. Tell us why. Uh, well, we take care of this first and foremost for our members. We have the opportunity to enjoy this historical and beautiful golf course. And in addition to our members, uh, we've been stewards of this property for over 100 years. And uh, our stewardship allows the Ohio History Connection to have the public here on set days each year to enjoy it. Well, I know this is built around an Indian mound, but outside of that, what makes this unique? Uh, you just don't find property like this. I mean, certainly the mounds are first and foremost, but here we are right in the middle of town and we have plenty of land and it feels like you're in a little bit of an oasis. Yeah. You know what amazes me is the mature trees and just kind of the lay of the land here. Oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. We have trees that are over a hundred years old here and, uh, we all enjoy it. Fantastic. Randy, turning to you, tell us a little something about this beautiful golf course. Well, it's one of the oldest courses in the country. Um, it was designed by Thomas Bendelow, a uh, famous architect, and they built it in and through the mounds. It's one of the things that makes it extremely enjoyable to play and also fun to play. It's a par 71. Um, it plays about 6,700 yards from the tips. So, Randy, how can someone become a member here at Mound Builders Country Club? Um, first thing you could do is uh, get online and check out our website, moundbuildercc.com. Um, it has all the information you need on there. Uh, you could you could come by and visit. Uh, you could could schedule a tour. We could take you around. Um, we've got some aggressive promotions going on right now. Um, just come on out and see us. Uh, or you could just go to the website. All the information is there. Yeah. You know, one of the things that's outstanding about this is just the entryway alone. It's well worth walking in just yeah. to see the marble and, in the stairway. Yeah. yeah, it is. All right, Randy. Hey, appreciate hey, you being on you. the show. David, thank, thank you, you for being on the show.